picture this. It's a Thursday night. You're at home, your phone resting quietly on the nightstand. You're winding down, maybe scrolling through social media or texting a friend, and you've done absolutely nothing wrong. Everything feels normal, safe, and routine. Yet, at this very moment, someone you've never met, sitting halfway across the world, is reading your texts in real time. They see your mom's veggie reminders, your inside jokes and memes, and most dangerously, those one-time six-digit codes your bank sends you. Your private world is suddenly an open book. Without warning, your hard-earned savings are being transferred out of your account. You're completely unaware, no alerts, no suspicious pop-ups, just a silent theft happening behind the scenes. This isn't a plot from a spy movie or a high-tech thriller, it's real life, and it's happening right now to ordinary people in cities all over the world. The scariest part, your phone isn't even hacked in the way you'd expect. There's no malware, no suspicious app, nothing you can see or touch. The real vulnerability isn't in your device at all. It's in the invisible network that connects every phone on the planet. This network is built on an ancient, insecure system that the world still relies on, even as technology races ahead. This so-called global trust system is anything but trustworthy. Billions of calls, texts, and data transfers depend on it every day, yet its flaws are well known to those who know where to look. The attack is completely silent. There are no notifications, no pop-ups, no warnings, and often, no trace left behind. You sleep peacefully, never realizing your digital life is being invaded. You only discover the truth when it's too late, when your bank balance is wiped out, or when you realize someone has been tracking your every movement, all without your knowledge or consent. This isn't a problem for the distant future. It's happening now, built on a system that's older than the internet itself. That system is called SS7. SS7 is the invisible thread that ties together the world's phones, allowing them to communicate across continents. But that thread is fraying and the consequences are growing. Your phone can betray you not because you made a mistake, but because the system it relies on was never designed to protect you from modern threats. Even if you're careful, you're still at risk. The real danger isn't what's stored on your phone, it's what's exposed in the network where attackers can intercept, manipulate, and steal your most sensitive information. And as you'll see in the next few minutes, this threat isn't theoretical. It's happening right now, affecting people just like you. Welcome to the world of SS7, a hidden battleground where your phone's greatest vulnerability isn't in your hand, but in the very airwaves and wires that connect us all. So, what is SS7? You might have heard the term tossed around in cybersecurity circles, but few people outside the industry really know what it means or how much it affects our daily lives. Back in the 1970s, phone companies faced a big challenge. They needed a reliable way to connect calls across different networks, manage billing, and enable new features like caller ID and call forwarding. To solve this, they built SS7, a private behind-the-scenes network just for telecoms, designed entirely around trust and cooperation. Only a handful of massive state-owned companies had access, so security wasn't a priority. The thinking was simple. If you were allowed in, you must be trustworthy. Once you were inside this exclusive club, you were trusted completely. No checks, no questions, no suspicion, just open doors everywhere. Fast forward to today, and that once exclusive club has exploded into a global free-for-all, connecting almost every country and telecom provider on the planet. Now hundreds of companies, including tiny operators and those in countries with weak cybersecurity laws, can access SS7. The network is no longer private or exclusive. Gaining entry is shockingly easy. In fact, you can rent access for just a few hundred bucks online. No questions asked, no background checks. It's like the keys to every house in the world are up for grabs and nobody bothers to check who's renting them or what they plan to do. The floor? Anyone with access can send powerful commands that the network blindly obeys, with no real oversight or verification. There's no real security, just a system that does whatever it's told, no matter who's giving the orders. SS7 was built for trust, but in today's world that trust has become its biggest weakness. Now, it's a playground for attackers, scammers and spies. And that's the loophole putting everyone at risk. Your calls, your texts, even your private data, all vulnerable because of a system built for a different era. Imagine a world where a hacker doesn't need to trick you, 
infect your device, or even meet you in person. Once a hacker gets access to the SS7 network, a system that underpins global telecommunications, the game changes entirely. All they need is your phone number, something you give out every day, often without a second thought. No phishing emails, no suspicious links, no malware downloads, just your number. You could be the most careful person online, and it wouldn't matter. With SS7, hackers can send secret commands to your mobile provider, silently tracking your location in real time, anywhere on the planet. You could be at home, at work, or traveling abroad. They'll know exactly where you are. They can intercept your calls and texts, quietly forwarding them to their own devices. You'll never see a warning or alert. Every SMS you receive, including those crucial two-factor authentication codes, is instantly theirs to read. With those codes, hackers can reset your passwords, drain your bank accounts, and hijack your entire digital identity, often before you even realize something's wrong. Think about it. Your bank, your email, your social media, even your cloud storage, all rely on SMS codes for security. If someone else gets those codes, they get everything. SS7 lets hackers grab those codes before you even see them pop up on your phone. You're locked out before you know you're under attack. The SS7 system was built decades ago for a world where everyone in the network was trusted. Security wasn't even an afterthought. Today, that trust is being exploited. SS7 has become the ultimate tool for digital theft, giving hackers a master key to your private data. You don't have to click anything, download any app, or even make a mistake. Just having a phone number is enough to put you at risk. SS7 is the skeleton key to your digital kingdom, unlocking doors you thought were secure. And the scariest part, it's shockingly easy to use. That's the real danger, your entire life, just a few clicks away for the wrong person. SS7 attacks aren't just theory, they've caused real-world chaos. In 2017, German bank customers lost thousands when hackers used SS7 to intercept SMS codes and empty accounts. The victims never saw a warning, the money vanished overnight. Governments and intelligence agencies use SS7 to track an eavesdrop on targets worldwide. Even a US congressman's calls were intercepted live on TV just by giving out his phone number. Secure messaging apps like WhatsApp and Signal can be hijacked if attackers intercept the initial SMS verification. The trust we place in SMS is the weak link. SS7 exploits it with brutal efficiency. It's not just about money, it's about privacy, safety, and control. Anyone can be a target. And the system is still wide open, that's the chilling reality. You'd think we'd have fixed SS7 by now, right? But the global phone system is a tangled mess. Replacing a core system used by every mobile operator is slow, expensive, and risky. Even in countries with advanced networks, SS7 still lurks in the background for compatibility. When you call or text someone on an older network, your connection falls back to SS7. That's a permanent backdoor. In many countries, SS7 is still the main system for billions of people. Hackers exploit weak operators anywhere to attack anyone anywhere. The cost to fix it is huge and most attacks go unreported, so there's little pressure to change. We keep building new tech on top of a crumbling foundation. The cracks are growing and the risk isn't going away. 5G promised faster speeds and better security using a new protocol called Diameter. On paper, it's much safer than SS7. But here's the catch. Networks are a messy patchwork. Your 5G phone still needs to talk to older networks, so there are gateways where secure protocols get translated back to SS7. That's where the old vulnerabilities come roaring back. Hackers can attack through SS7, and the network passes it along, it's like having a steel front door but a cardboard back door. As long as SS7 is needed for compatibility, everyone is at risk. Firewalls and filters help, but they're just band-aids. Hackers keep finding ways around them. 5G can't protect you from a broken foundation. Until SS7 is gone, the threat remains. Don't be fooled by shiny new tech. Feeling helpless? Don't be. You can make yourself a harder target. First, stop using SMS for anything important, especially two-factor authentication. SMS is the digital equivalent of leaving your house key under the doormat. Switch to app-based authenticators like Google Authenticator or Authy. 
These generate codes on your device, never sent over the vulnerable network. Yes, it's a bit less convenient, but it's far more secure. Practice good digital hygiene. Avoid public Wi-Fi and use a reputable VPN when you must. A VPN won't stop SS7 attacks, but it helps protect other parts of your digital life. Every extra layer of security helps. Don't make yourself an easy target. Move your critical accounts away from SMS now. The effort is small, but the protection is huge. Take control of your security. Don't wait for the system to catch up. Two-factor authentication is essential, but SMS is the worst way to do it. When you get a code by text, it's sent across a network with zero security. SS7 attackers can grab it before you even see it. That defeats the whole point of something you have. Authenticator apps are the better choice. They generate codes offline on your device. No code travels over the vulnerable network. Switching is easy. Go to your account security settings, turn off SMS and set up an authenticator app. Scan the QR code and you're done. Now, your codes are safe from SS7 attacks. It takes minutes to switch, but it could save you from disaster. Don't trust SMS with your security. Make the change today. Your future self will thank you. The story of SS7 is a reminder. The most dangerous threats are invisible. SS7 attacks leave no trace, no pop-ups, no warnings, just the aftermath. Awareness is your best defense. For years, only insiders knew about SS7's flaws. Now you know too. Treat any security system relying on the phone network as potentially compromised. Move sensitive communications and logins to encrypted app-based services. Tell your friends and family to do the same. The ghost in your phone is real, but you can lock the door. Don't wait for the industry to fix it. Be your own advocate, stay vigilant, stay skeptical, and stay secure. Knowledge is your best protection.